And we're back to talk to the gypsy for what may or may not be the last time, depending on how many more names. Oh. As you passed by the Madame Zadra, Zadora, you hear a light where there is a new slip is dispensed from it. Oh boy, free fortune! Gabriel tucks into the bonus prophecy, his knuckles growing whiter as he reads it. It promptly vanishes in a burst of flame. Oh yeah, Fatagna, you want to say that to my face? Another fortune is produced. Gabriel tears it out. This one, too, is consumed upon reading. Oh, that's... that that's Fatagning it! Smartass, did you see that one coming, huh? Fatagning fortune teller Hydra Fatagnik By the four, you you moron uh, It's a goddamn antique It's like I can't take you to a terrifying carnival without you destroying a fortune telling machine Probably a good thing we got the fortunes out of her first Something glints there, nestled in the ruin. For science! I'll probably upgrade his gun then. Let's see. This is gonna be the boring part, isn't it? Wherein I look for jiggling things. Yes. Ooh, mushrooms. I like mushrooms. Need to find a little shaking object to get fruit monsters from. Ooh, human skulls. Could always use some of those. Come on. I used a lot of consumables in the silent Pope fight. Is that a scorpion? Crab. Yeah. See if I can avoid that fight. Yes, I can for the moment. Just one more fruit bite. Then I can go back and do some weapon upgrading, and then I won't have wasted overkill. I'm probably thinking way too hard on this, but... to that thing. Well, I guess it's time to go home. Hold. His power is great, but I don't believe he has poured himself entirely into that vessel. It is still vulnerable. We must return here with weapons capable of shearing his link to our world. He must fear us. And then, in that moment of mortal fear, we will strike. It's kind of annoying not having enough Fresh, delicious fruit for Dagna Barts. Seriously, I'm missing like 200, which is four fights. How could I have not found even one?
if it has even an even bigger animation where it like pans out to the entire world. Mime quest. Everyone's level 14 now. There's only one more level to max. Hmm. Well, I suppose we had best get back to returning that mime's stolen property. It was just right over. Yep. Hello again. Oh, hello. I think we tracked down your ethereal equipment. The mime runs his hands along the nothing with apparent satisfaction. It's all here. You know what? I've got something for you guys. He turns his back for a moment, reaching into a large trunk for something that is apparently very heavy. Listen, I know you've been checking me out. It's alright. I look like a million photogening dollars. I haven't been. I, I don't know about you guys, but... I have a six-pack front and back. You've got nothing on Cthulhu, man. His abs are unholy. That's horrifying. I'll tell you my secret. It's an unbeatable mime regimen called Exorcise that uses spectral weight. Yeah, get a grip on this thing. It is indeed the heaviest void you have ever experienced. And after only a few illusory reps, you begin to feel the ban. Plus ten strength. Goodbye, mime. Yeah, we have some business in Hobo Alley for what will probably be the last time we ever come here. We've got to make good on some taunts we made to a wax dummy of a man regarding a miniature scale replica of a landmark. When I say it like that, it sounds almost absurd. But a promise is a promise. Go forth, team. As you approach Dr. Arnold P. Wimple's lavatory slash laboratory, he gets a glimpse of the prized wheel you carry. That's... that's... that is to say, it is... It's a 164th scale model of the Boardwalk's biggest attraction, the... It's a 164th scale model of the Boardwalk's biggest attraction, the Sin Wheel! Do you know what I could do with such a thing? What I could accomplish? Honestly, I'd rather not think about it. Well, I'm actually... Yeah, I'm in. This, this is like history or something. Technically, I think it's history. Well, whatever. Dogning word guy. Hey, are you sure you don't want in on this? Your analogy is a crucial science, and I'm here to help in whatever way I can. Splendid! Splendid! Dr. Arnold P. Wimple, the noted and possibly only practicing urino urinologist, prepares to make history. After carefully situating the sin wheel, he turns blessedly away from the party to prefer his uh, apparatus. The ride begins to turn slowly as a weak jet of liquid rushes over the replica. 
trickling over the girders and filling the buckets where tiny men and women would sit. <laughs> you hear a wheezing, exhausted carnival melody. The small lights of the wheel twinkle wearily and they go out possibly forever. That is... that is interesting. It may even be profound. <laughs> This experience has rocked me to my core. He doesn't seem to hear you. He begins to fiddle with knobs. Blue flames begin to dance and liquids begin to boil. At what point he pauses to shoo away a cat that has taken up residence on the work surface. Beakers are poured one to the other in an indecipherable flurry of motion as the final tink of the fluid is vexed and then lies still. There, it's only right you should have it, you whom have contributed so much. Uh, what just happened? What What is this stuff? The future. He returns impenetrably to his labors. Oh, great. We're going to dip Gabe's fists in hobo pee, aren't we? God. Uh, I guess we better get to it. Yeah, our friend is back. Uh, can't bang head hard enough to put up with stupid of... <laughs> I know, I... I know what I... It doesn't make any sense when I say I know what knew what to expect coming into this game, but I had no idea what to expect. What not... In case, this, this is going to be a bit of a short ending here, but I think we've got everything to upgrade everyone's weaponry, so I'm going to give it a pause and then do just that.